Hello, my name is Fiona and I work at the Mississauga Library. Today we're going to be making trampolines using knot gates in Minecraft. Uh, okay, so let's get over to the Logic Museum uh, using the red line. Just a refresh. Okay, so remember our old friend, a yeah. knot gate. We're going to be using this today. Uh, so what a knot gate is, or an inverter, is it's a circuit where if the input is off, so the switch is getting giving an off signal. As you can see, the line is dead. So if the signal is off, yeah. then the circuit outputs an on signal so you can see the pistons turn on and then the opposite if the signal if the input signal is on so this lever is now on it's giving an on signal with power and then this torch this redstone torch inverts the signal to turn it off so it always wants to output the opposite of its input uh, so why am I going on about this? Uh, so last Minecraft episode, I talked about how I was planning to make a cool drop shaft to our mining level. Uh, so I was playing around with how to do that, and I found it was like way too easy. Like it just took me 30 seconds, and it wasn't really fun. So I was thinking, let's make a super cool, awesome, complex elevator using pistons, like how I've seen on YouTube people do that. Um, that was a little, it's a little advanced for me. I'm not the best at mine. I'm not the best at redstone. Uh, but anyways, I was playing around with a lot of pistons and trying to wire up everything. Um, and I just ended up uh, jumping up and down between um, pistons rather than actually building anything useful. But you know what? Let's do something fun today. Let's make a trampoline. So that is our knot gate. So let's move over where we can have some space. So here's a good space. You can tell I was building some things here earlier. Uh, so what we need to make first is what's called a logic clock or a clock circuit. So the easiest way to do that in Minecraft is probably just with a, with a series, a loop of redstone torches. So to do that, So I'm going to add a redstone torch. So as you can see, it's giving an on signal. And then the next torch, if we feed that on signal to the next torch, it's going to give an off signal. So it's inverting the way it's supposed to. So let's continue. So try to guess what this is going to do. You got it. It's an on signal. So continue around. So we're going to do this for, an, we are going to continue this for an odd even number of torches. So now the signal's off. So let's run a bit of line here. And so a uh, special prize, if you can guess what this signal is going to be, it's going to be on. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much a no brainer, but uh, here's some cool little magic that you can do. Uh, so you see um, each torch is the opposite of the torch before it. The beginning torch and the end torch, because where we have an odd number, they're both on. So what happens if I join them together? They start flashing like Christmas lights. So we have just made a clock circuit. So in redstone and everyday electronics, clock circuits produce a repeating regular signal by toggling on and off. So if we were to give an output lead 
as you can see, the signal coming out of this clock is a regular on, off, on, off, and we can do this even more graphically with piston. So as long as you don't mess with the circuit, it's always going to turn this piston on and off at the same rate. Okay, so we've built our logic clock, but why does this matter? Why would someone build a logic clock? Uh, in the real world, most complex electronics, like computers, use uh, what's called sy synchronous sequential logic, which means all the logic gates that handle the constant flow of data in the computer need to set a time limit to respond to changes to their inputs uh, that they're receiving on and off signals so that they can produce um, output signals that are also stable and reliable so that the logic um, down the chain that's getting feedback from them uh, they get regular signals, and so this is a way of creating a reliable, stable circuit. So we can actually continue chaining these, um, chain these pistons. So let me show you something that's called an observer. So in Minecraft, a redstone observer, it um, it puts out a signal based on block updates to anything it's attached to. So in this case, it's attached to the piston, and so it's putting out a signal every time the piston goes up or down. If the piston's up, signal on. If it's down, signal off. And you can see the wire is lighting up. So then, if we add another piston, uh, it's now turning on and off based on that signal it's getting from the previous piston. And then we want to continue this, we could add an observer to the latest piston, and you see this is also putting out a signal too based on uh, the piston it's attached to. And we can even add a third piston. If we turn it on, and now the third piston is going too. Uh, so one thing I'm noticing with the observer is that not only are they relaying the signal from the block update. Um, they are also speeding up the signal. Let me just break this for a moment. It's really loud. So the observers, they're getting a signal from the piston, and then they're putting out an even faster signal so that each uh, piston is faster than the next. So this one is nice and slow, just like the clock here. The second one's a little faster, and the third one is crazy fast. Uh, so, uh, with, so with logic clocks in Minecraft, there's also other ways to modify it. So as you can see, the pistons are going super fast based on the increased signal intake from the circuit. But you can also slow down circuits in Minecraft using the computer. So we've used repeaters before to strengthen signals on very long lines, but there's a second function that they have. They can also delay signals. Let's go back to our logic block. Uh, so let's say we add a repeater here. So at the moment, uh, the standard state repeater in, when you first place it down, um, it's not delaying the signal at all. The signal's moving as normal. But if we right click on it up to three times, it gets slower. So you can hear the pistons, they're a lot slower now, aren't they? And let's go back to how it was. They're really fast again. 
so we can actually stack this so we can add more repeaters to make it even slower and if we're going to make a trampoline we actually do have to slow down the signal because otherwise i'm never going to be able to place this line block so let's slow this down and so now it's getting even slower so let's add another one now it's really slow. And if we add a 4, it's pretty slow. Let's start adding our slime blocks. So I can't add any slime blocks uh, over the observer or else it will rip the observer off the ground. Trampoline, so let's try it out. So right now it's really slow, but let's speed it up. So I'm going to remove the delay from all the repeaters, except for this last one. All right, so let's see if we can jump on. I'm not really good at parkour, by the way. And there you have it. We built a trampoline. Alright, let's see if we can jump on the next one. And we can jump super high on our trampoline. So thank you for watching. Please visit our website and Facebook page for details on what is coming up and for digital 24-7 24-7 services where you where you download digital ebooks, audiobooks, movies, magazines, um, and so much more. To learn more about Minecraft, check out our Minecraft ebooks on Overdrive. Thank you and bye!